All right, guys, I'm at 1543 Berlin Road in Cherry Hill. Um, couple things to note, Cherry Hill's a little bit more expensive, a lot more expensive than some of the areas we've seen. Um, it has great schools, a lot to do in the, the town. Um, with that said, based off the price point, you're gonna get a little bit more for your money in some of the other towns. Um, not to mention this crazy busy road that we are on right now. It's a very main road. Uh, it's going to be just, honestly, it's going to be difficult to get in and out of your driveway, especially during the busy time of day and rush hour, um, and the noise to the street traffic. There's trucks, there's everything kind of driving by. You can see you're right near a stop light too. So I'll show you a, um, video of the traffic as well. So you can kind of get an idea for that. I uh, honestly, I per personally, I parked on the side road over here at the light. I made a, I made a right, and I walked down the sidewalk. That's how much I wanted to avoid trying to back out of this driveway on this road. Uh, but let me turn it around. I'm gonna do a quick walk through. Uh, it needs a lot of some finishes. It looks very roughed in, like they were trying to um, update it, and then kind of just stopped. So I'll, I'll let you see and I'll let you decide if it's worth the value here. Okay, again, we're at 1543 Berlin Road. This is a four bedroom, two bath. It's actually 2,000 square feet, which is much larger than all the other ones we've seen. And it's only listed at 165. You do have a side yard over, a side door over here in your dining area. A nice little um, jut out window, bay window over there. Open kitchen, which is great. All right. Um, this is what I'm talking about, some of the finishes. They, like, took this wall out to open it up, which is great, but then they didn't really do anything with it. Um, there's some damages. Like, you have all these different floors over here, things that you're going to want to fix. Um, you're going to want to patch that up. It does have a finished basement level, which is great. I love the vaulted ceilings up here. And then again, you have that bay window up at the front. All right. Let's go ahead and um, also I want to point out some of this water damage. There's a bathroom up here too, right above us. And that is guaranteed that that's what that is from. Um, it looks like they spray painted this wall. Look at that. That's actually like not roller. That's spray paint. Interesting. What is this? Huh. Okay. So you walk up the stairs. Uh, there is an uh, all house fan up there for your attic. Your f one bathroom. It doesn't seem to like be any power on this house. I think they got evicted. I saw a notice on the door. Um, we have bedroom number one. There's your closet. You could always put in a curtain rod there. I'm going to walk through this, guys. I'm going to advise you that this one is too much to do for the price compared to the other ones. Even though it's such a great area, I just don't think that it's gonna be worth it for you guys. So let's walk through it. I just, we're here, we might as well see it, right? Okay. All these carpets are bunched up. You'll want them all nice shag in different colors. You'll want them replaced. They look a little old. Okay. Downstairs. We have the family room, which is really good size. Oh, it keeps going, going all the way over there, which is great. Utility closet. Oh, they've been here a while, huh? And then I like that you have a separate laundry room slash, oh, there's your second full bathroom down here. All right, you have a shower, full shower, toilet. And a tub. Wow, that's a big shower and a tub. And then a big vanity, too. This was a big bathroom, but again, just a lot of work. Um, a lot of stuff to do in here. And I'm not sure if it's just all cosmetic or not. So this looks like it was an addition. Um, and you, they put a second back door over here, too. They just made this like a fun playroom, it looks like, for the kiddos. Just good. Just an awesome extra space. So there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of space in this house. 
I'm just not sure that it is. Um, and because it, it's a finished lower level, it get it, it's counted as that um, part of the 2,000 square feet. All right, let me turn this around. All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me that well with the street traffic. Um, so here's some things to point out. It's going to be frustrating for you as a homeowner to go in and out of this driveway on a busy road. And for resale, it's, it's something that I wouldn't advise um, only because you guys are moving uh, whenever the military tells you to. And this home is the type that's going to sit on the market for a while. We need to get you into a home. There's going to be a quick resale. Um, buyers, it's going to be difficult, especially if anyone has kids or dog. They're not going to want to be on this busy road and it's going to um, lower the value a little bit for you. So um, those are some points that I think that, yes, you could absolutely increase the value of the home by doing all of these updates and you'd have instant equity, but at the same time, it's going to be much harder to sell just based on the location alone and being on this busy road. Um, but again, it's four bedrooms, two baths, it's 2,000 square feet, and it is listed currently at 165.